Hey, we are back with some more Zelda. Last time, we... Um, we got the Earth Element. That's it. Would you by chance be Nezzy, the one that found the Earth Element? Yes, how did you hear about me so quickly? Surely you are, I've heard so many tales about you. I'm Bellari, researcher of antiques, and also, well, I'm a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get through, get, wait. You won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. A bomb bag. Now we can blow up stuff. What a friend. So we're gonna add the bomb bag. There we go, we have 10 bombs. Got to be careful not to use one of those by accident. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hmm? What? It blew up? Hey, kid. Look, look at where that stone marker used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, this must be... Well, I have it the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. That is something that will come into play later. I will not reveal quite yet. So we can blow that up. Um... We can't get to those little tiny doors yet because we can't get through the water. Let's see. Um, I kind of want to go back and get that. I think this takes us to where we started. Maybe? I want to get that piece of heart from earlier. Oh, we're not quite... Ooh, I thought I wasn't going to make it. Let's go ahead and blow that up. And we can just skip the little shrinking animation. Talk to this guy. Hey, look at the, this kinstone piece. Have you seen one like that? What? You don't know what a kinstone piece is? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back here and see me when you get one? Okie dokie. Ooh. That looks like an obviously breakable spot. Am I right? Look at that. 20 shells. We still don't know what they're for yet. There's a weird spot in the ground. There's some floaty guys. Ow. Ow. More stuff to blow up. Oh, these things. Yeah. I think there's a... I think we can... This is kind of fun. We can kind of... See, they'll just uh, jump in the ground again. And I think... There's just two? Oh, I thought if we did that, then they would come back. Uh, they, I thought we could have like 12 of them running around. Yeah, okay, this is where we came in the Minish Woods. When we first got here. So let's go... Back to where we were. Oops. Up here... Yeah, no, down here. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we went all the way over here, almost to the shrine. And then... Ezlo called to us. So, here we go. Yeah, I forget you can, uh... As soon as he calls to you, you can just run over and grab that, and I always forget to do that. So now we're off to Mount Krell, which we need to... go back to town to get to. And we're gonna have some cool stuff happen when we get to the town. The Hyrule Town, I mean. I guess it's Hyrule Castle Town. I can I didn't remember if that's what they called it. Oh, what are you doing here? The name's Buto. I'm head carpenter around these parts. The King of Hyrule has entrusted me in town's construction. I think I already talked to this guy once. Oh, he's blocking us. Wait, what? Oh, let's go this way. Yeah, here we go. South Hyrule. Because we gotta walk in. Because we didn't leave the village to the south gate, I don't think. Or did we? Anyways, we're back here. Come on, come on. See how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing kinstones will do. But it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. 
Am I butchering this accent? Ooh. Fitting two keystone pieces together is called keystone fusion. If you get... Oh, man. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a keystone piece in your keystone bag to give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse keystones will look like I do right now. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. And then, uh, yes. I stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse keystones. I'm like mixing Irish and Scottish and uh, Swedish or something. That's it, press the, uh, yeah. And then we see we have pieces here. He's the hurdy gurdy man. And they fit perfectly, and then something good happens. So that's marked on our map now. So we can go to that place and get something. A perfect fit. That means we're both due for a little happiness. See? And there we go. That's kinstone pieces. So, let's actually, real quick, let's go see what that was, because that's not too far from where we live. Right, that's like right over here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this thing. So, the way kinstone pieces work is um, you can just find them out and about. Like, if I just start cutting grass, we'll find, we'll probably find some. Um... And there's plenty of people and sometimes objects that we can fuse stones with. Um, so let's see if we can get one. Oh, there's a little, there's a little thingy. These things don't really do anything, but they kind of just slow you down. Um, not getting any. There's green ones, which are uh, the most common ones you can find in the ground. Those are just random things. So when you fuse with people, it'll just be, it'll like pick something from a list of things to happen. Um, what do we call it? The blue ones are sort of the same way, but I think all the blue ones do something specific. And the red ones are very specific. And only certain people have certain red ones and, and all that. So the red ones do something consistent the entire time. And then there's gold ones that are... Um, so we can fuse with him again. I don't have any. Haha. <laughs> uh... The gold ones are story related, so once we find some gold ones, they're only used for certain spots in the story. We hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. I will. Look at this guy. I'm a laid back, easy going kind of guy. Not a care of the world. That's the wish to. Oh, I don't have any pieces. <laughs> so, yeah. So, our main goal is just to kind of find some. Here's this dude. Oh, yes, welcome. Please feel free to browse. How much money do we have? We can get... Wait, is our shield still dingy? No. It's very, It's actually possible in this game to lose your shield. So you can come by and buy one. Ugh. I don't have... I don't have 80 rupees. I know where I can get 80 rupees, but I don't have the ability to get them right now. But we're just exploring. Um, oh, there's a ghost right there. Look at that guy. My brother's at school. Wait, what? <laughs> Buggity buggity boo! Did that scare you? <laughs> oh, we can do this. We're not gonna do it though because uh, you don't really get a whole lot from that. Oh, okay, sure. Um, okay. So exploring a little bit. There's all sorts of optional stuff here and there. You can buy bread. Must make deliciousness. Does that smell spectacular? <laughs> Do they give free samples? Wait, let's get the the croissant. Uh, wait, is she yours? Baker of Wheaton and Pita. Our special croissant. Which may or may not have something inside it. It's only 30 rupees. I'm trying to save up for a new wallet, man. Alright, we'll pass on that one. There's the courier running around. Let's see, there's a... Uh, this house, we can't... 
Yeah, I can't get in there. There's a little spooky house. There we go. We can talk to this guy. Rem Shoe Shop. Lately, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right job. That guy's important later. Anyways, enough dilly-dallying. We'll have plenty of time to explore Hyrule Town later. Um... Sir? Just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean you'll be safe. I can't let you go out there alone. Not until you know some sword techniques. I'm the postman. So we gotta go... Oh, there's a dog here. Mm, what a jerk. We gotta go learn some sword techniques. Luckily, I know just where to do that. I am Swift Blade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? Yes. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. We shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword button. Press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Haha, very good. You are a very quick student. Must one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body as to demonstrate the technique. I shall call this the swift blade pers uh Possession technique of training. Watch this. Position. Phew. Now you must try yourself. Easy. Yes, fine work. You're a quick study. Now we'll give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget the technique, you can review it with the scroll. So that's the first thing we learn from Swift Blade. Uh, it's basically a uh, story technique kind of thing. Similar to... I haven't played a whole lot of Zelda games, but in the Twilight Princess, there's this ghost guy. You like Howl to the Golden Wolf, and the ghost guy will teach you stuff. Wait. So you've learned the spin attack, huh? Let's see. Show me that attack. So that's kind of like that, but you actually need um, these different things. Oof. Look at this guy. He'll steal your rupees if he gets it. So there's actually, uh, what was I saying? Story techniques. See, like, we need the spin attack to do this thing, which we can't do yet. So, that's the, that's the deal with Swift Blade. There's actually a bunch of masters. I think there's seven of them. Oh, I'm gonna forget to press. You have to press start to get back into that menu. Deluxe bottle, yes. We do need a bottle. That's very important. Do 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 do. So we are in the Trilby Highlands. Mount Crenel is this way. Let us be gone. All right. Here we are at the base of Mount Colonel. Uh, we're going to start our ascent up the mountain in the next episode. So I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.